Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another free The Peace Friday episode. And of course, we're going to, what you're looking at here is what we're going to uh, liberate from the packaging. So you've got the 1961 Dodge Dart Phoenix. So including the Ultra Red, we got the two, uh, we got the release, the whole of release, uh, 2019 uh, release three, which I will be doing a full video on that entire release now that I actually do have it complete. Um, but I did want to do a walkthrough on just this casting. So we are going to do that. We're going to take a look at all of these uh, so far that have come out in the Auto World Premium line. So it all started actually with release one. And this is your version A car from premium release one. Oddly enough, I was looking at my database for Auto World, and you guys know I hoard this stuff. Interestingly enough, uh, the Phoenix, the Don Star Phoenix, I only have one each of every car. I don't have any duplicates, and that includes the three that you see behind you, uh, which is actually kind of a shame, I guess. It's 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 sort of an underrated casting. This one's got fingerprints on it still. Um, and who knows how long those have been on there. I've had this car for quite a long time. Uh, it's kind of an awesome casting. It's really long. It's almost as long as the big Cadillacs. It's very close. It's very detailed. Of course, it's got the you know opening hood, the crazy looking motor under there. You know, metal base, all that stuff, and it just is pretty awesome. This one's got black interior, heavy, heavy casting. Pretty cool, this Dodge Dart Phoenix, 1961. An interesting looking car, and I'm telling you, man, this is this is a pretty underrated casting. And here is the version B. Again, opening hood. I'm going to see if one of these opens a little bit further. It doesn't look like it. They're probably going to all open about that far. Metal body, metal base. Phoenix on the plate. I think this one had the same plate. Yep, Phoenix on the plate. So again, this is version B for Premium Release 1, the first release of Premium Auto World that there was. And it's a nice one. I like the color on it. Pretty, pretty sweet. And then the Ultra Red. And here is the Ultra Red. So back then, they always did the white accents for the first couple releases. And so this was the white accent that they added. As you can see that's not on the hood of the other cars. Black interior. Again, I think they all had black interiors back in the day. Not all of the real cars, all of the Auto World releases. Pretty neat. You can definitely see the Dodge right in the line of the, uh, the hood right there. That's not quite as visible on the other ones. on there too that's pretty cool didn't even notice that let's we'll check the other releases as we pull them out here right on the edge of that hood definitely interesting so beautiful car beautiful model this is the first release of it and then they didn't use it for quite a long time so that first release when did this come out i think yeah 2013 is the manufacturer date of these so I think realistically probably 2014 is when they were hitting stores. I'm not really sure. Uh, I didn't start collecting at all. Didn't even collect Hot Wheels or anything really until the tail end of 2014. So. But then they didn't do anything until 2018. So this is 2018 release 2. Uh, the regular models in this release were limited to uh, 2,500 pieces. Got a little bit of fingerprinting going on on this one. Clean it a little bit while we're on camera here. Why not? Looks pretty good in black with a red interior. A 
nice model. So 2018 at release two, 2,500 pieces were the version A, and of course the same for version B. Here it is in a stark white. Probably should have got a spare of this one. This one's got some weird, I'm not sure what happened there on the side. You can kind of see that dark little line down here. Blue interior. Oh, the plate. Uh, 6105 D500, is that what that says? I think that's what that says. Yeah, D500. Anyway, it looks pretty awesome. It's in, like I said, it's a huge casting. The thing is gigantic. And then the ultra reds for this release were red tire ultra reds. So you got this thing right here with the red tires ultra red body and an ultra red interior standard metal base it looks pretty good these are actually quite limited uh, the ultra reds in the series are limited to 150 pieces so this is a fairly limited piece it's a very cool car though was never a fan of the red tires. They kind of brought it back in the Miho exclusives recently. But uh, I get it. It's a chase car. It doesn't. It's not going to look stock. But I still prefer when they do the ultra reds with normal colored tires. All right. So now we're to the main event here for this Free the, Free the Peace Friday, which is going to be these ones from 2019 release 3. And I think, honestly, these are the best releases of this casting to date. Um, so we're going to, you know, go in order here. So we're going to start with version A. So here is the version A car. There's that in case you do want to read about it. Ram induction engine. Interesting. All right, so in spring green for version A, it's got Firestone letter tires. Look awesome. So subtle changes in the way that they did things here make the car look much better, I think. Um, so this one, for starts, the, the last two releases that we looked at, they all had the same wheels. So this one, they update the rims. You can see that there. Here's your plate. 61D500. Uh, the motor should be the same. Yep, same tooling. But the wheels look great. So it's kind of got that, uh, that blue look there in comparison to this. Let's see that this one looks much m meaner. And it's really just, really just a wheel difference. Not necessarily the color that does anything. It's the wheels that make it look quite different. So these are limited to 5,500 pieces, is this one. Not quite as limited. I like it though, it looks pretty nice. But the real winner for me, um, even over the Ultra Red, I think, is this one right here in the silver gray poly. All right. This thing is mean. Let's go ahead and get it out of the package so I can actually show it to you. And there it is. That looks fantastic. Black interior. Blacked out rims. No letters on the tires, and this thing just looks angry, and I like it. To me, that's super cool. Grill details fantastic on this model. Oh, the taillight details a little weird, but it that's how the taillights were, so it's just the rear end of this car looks a little strange. I mean, the whole car kind of does look a little weird but it, it looks pretty awesome uh, from the profile I don't know it's just a mean looking car 
Uh, very mean looking car. I wouldn't mind driving this thing. Just a boat though, these things are huge. I don't know if I've got anything real close by just to compare um, a size real quick before we get into uh, the ultra. I don't know how close to, well here, this one's probably pretty close to 164 scale, but here's a Volkswagen Golf from Shuko. I'm actually surprised to see it being uh, pretty much right on the height wise with it. But as you can tell the length of the car a lot smaller. This is a Shuko. This thing's awesome. Um, but yeah, big car. Big car, and this is definitely my favorite release of it, for sure. Should have picked up an extra one of these. these it just looks awesome. Alright, and then, of course, we all like to open up chases on these Free the Peace Fridays. This was uh, a chase that was provided to me from Zach Manser. He's on Instagram. Shout out his Instagram. He's got more followers than me on Instagram. Super cool dude. Um, Zach Diecast Manser. Zach Manser Die. I don't remember. But super cool dude. And uh, there you go. So the Ultra Reds for this release, Ultra Red Base, Ultra Red Body, of course, and a white interior. And it looks nice. Uh, they go after the version A cars, which is why it doesn't have the blacked out wheels. I so wish that they would have done the blacked out wheels on the Ultra Red without the lettered tires. I think that would have looked really, really cool. So maybe in the subsequent release we'll get to see it like that. It just looks great like this, though. It the these wheels I'm telling you just really make it a cool look, looking car you go like this and you're like oh this is like kind of 50s style even though this car well it came out in the early 60s 61 right so you know it's kind of like a 50s style car and then when you like put these wheels on it it just makes it look more gives it a little more girth makes it look a little more muscly so I don't know I quite like it with those shoes. So yeah, that's going to be it for this uh, Free the Peace Friday episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was another Auto World walk down, uh, casting walk around, down, cause, uh, or run down, because that's what I've done on a lot of these Free the Peace Fridays. We've kind of turned them into that. If they're not, if they're an Auto World casting, we kind of look at all of the, uh, the castings to date. At least I've done it a few times. So go back and check out the playlist if you want to see more of these. Also, of course, we've used Free the Peace Friday to open up a bunch of other stuff too. Super treasure hunts, oddball Hot Wheels, all sorts of stuff. But again, that's my favorite of the day. Even though, of course, we like chase cars. And an ultra red is fantastic. So lovely all right so stay tuned for another episode and then also keep her tuned for the entire series of 2019 release three which i finally have complete which i will put out sometime next week so hopefully you guys check out that video um should be a pretty decent one it's a pretty solid series so again thank you guys very much for watching have yourself a great day <laughs>